Welcome to Safe Conveyor. Today we've just uh, finished this assembly. This is our slide gate model. It's a model 10-4, which means that it's uh, normally it's 10 feet long and has a four foot sliding section. Uh, this particular customer, they wanted to have it 13 feet long, so it was built with an extension. So you can see this is the, the bi-directional drive. And this is the normal end of the 10 foot slide section. But we've added this three foot extension to make it 13 feet. If you go down to the end of the slide gate, this is where the section slides out. You can see that there's a proximity switch which detects whether the gate is open or closed. I wanna talk about that in the video. So if we slide this section out, making it four feet longer. So now, I already had it plugged in, so I turned right on and it has to be running in the direction of the slide gate. Now when you close that, then the, the gate will automatically shut off. And what I wanted to show in this video, and we make these videos for the customer, and they can see their product fully assembled, which sometimes they just look at the video and it's put together. And that moving section with the single stand, each one of these sections has struts. There's two on the, one on the tail end. We're running the strut to the give a little extra support to the extension section so we're not putting all the load on just that one joint. So let's say the customer gets it and he's got, uh, he's bought a four foot slide section and it turns out that his machine where he wants to stop this is only maybe uh, four or five inches less than that. Now if he, if, he, if he doesn't get all the way out to the four feet, it's not gonna go on. So how do we adjust where this stops and still turns on and off. Well, we provided for that. So on this side where you see the, let me get that in the camera. So this is the proximity switch. Basically it's a, when it's a magnet, it gets near it, it goes on. And when that gate is all the way out, I'm gonna pull it all the way out. So in that hole, there was nothing in the hole. Now it's all the way out. And in that hole, lo and behold, there's a screw. And that screw holds the latch and the magnet. And if we were to loosen this screw, just turn it maybe a half a turn. Now when I move that slide gate, which I'm gonna do, it shouldn't hop the latch, and the gate will stay on. See, this gate is still staying on. And we move it to where we want, wherever it is, now we stopped, we come back to that screw, and we tighten it up. Now that has set where the latch is relative to the end of the conveyor. So now the gate will no longer go further than this. And when we push it in, it now goes off and now the gate goes out. You can probably see that in the video, that's shorter. I'm gonna put it back where it was because when we ship them this soon, I might forget. Loosen it up, slide it all the way back out. Now it's all the way out. And you can do this with it on or off, doesn't no matter. And then lock it back down. I mean, you don't have to tighten that thing too tight. It, it pretty much clamps right on that slide section. So that's the adjustability. I wouldn't recommend shortening it to two feet. I mean, if you're gonna get that small, why'd you buy a slide gate? You really don't need to. But it will run pretty much with it all the way inside. It just won't run as well. It's better when it's out because it won't be as much riding on top of itself. And there you go. And when we ship this, it will be uh, disassembled. The slide section will leave the whole belt on it and the gate. Where it separates, we'll take all the belt and loop it on top. And then we'll have the customer put the section on and then bring that loop that was left under, over, and rejoin it. They shouldn't have to thread the other part of the section where there's much more complicated detail. If you take a look under here, the bi-directional drive. So there's the bi-directional drive. It's riding over here. You can see the pinching encapsulation. And there, that's the bi-directional drive. And on one side, there is slack. And on the other side of that drive, less slack. And depending on which direction you're going, that slack is going to shift from one side 
to the other, and that's what keeps it engaged. And so you can run it in either direction. Just to show that, I'll flip the switch. Right now it's running to the right. Sometimes the video is going to trade that well. And we're going to flip the switch. And it's going the other way. And again, if you look underneath, slack is over here under the motor now. And if I flip the switch, the slack is going to move to the other side of the motor. Back again. The other side of the motor. It has to be that slack. Tighten it up too tight, and you no slack there, you're going to start hopping the bell. Or you're going to start yanking the gate open because you won't be able to hold the latch because you're pulling too hard on the, the belt, not on the product. And that pretty much does it. Thanks for watching.